Henk, from your perspective as a, a geoscientist, um, are, you, are you confident that the technical solutions on the table at the moment are things that we can, we can move forward with? Yeah, ja, I think omdat it bekende technologie is, is it moeilijk om het binnen die tijdperken te doen. Ik denk waar die probleem in komt met van die ontsoutingstechnologie. Daar is die wat ons weet werk, maar is baie dier. Dan is daar goedkoper opties, dan is daar ander opties, dat is ander maniere wat mense dit benader. En dit is een baie dier, dit, dit mag een baie dier fout wees wat ons maak, as ons te vinnig ingaan in een kiesing en begin toepas. Uh, you bring up the issue of price, and uh, Johan, you, uh, you and Henk actually together, I think, went to, to Parliament to, uh, to present to, to some of the subcommittees. And at that meeting, you made the point that I think 225 million rand has been set aside so far, but you would like to see nearly three times that uh, being earmarked for this project. How long before you run out of money? The money for us at this stage, uh, yes, it is limited to the 225 million, uh, but we will have to go back to government and say that, look, uh, those figures were, were based on very preliminary estimates. We've now done uh, some more work, and it is, it is in fact closer to the 750 million that I mentioned. Let, let's just quickly address the, uh, the issue of, of who should be responsible. How difficult is it to, to keep current operating mines responsible for this problem? Yeah, you see, Simon, that's the challenge. I mean, I mean very recently, like on the 31st of January, we had the, the you know the stopping of pumping from the from the eastern basin, where Grootvlei mine just stopped their pumps, and Aurora is now from the scene. I mean you you can't find them. So I mean this is now actually where government will have to intervene. Surely there must be legal avenues that the department can can explore to force companies like Aurora to, to do something about the problem. That's correct, but I mean you you're flogging a dead horse. I mean Aurora is not existing. I mean they 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 not there. They bankrupt. I mean that whole mine company. Direct, uh, is nog. <laughs> that mining company has been taken over by the liquidators. Directeure in in the individual capacity and also in the gezamenlijke capacity capaciteit can verantwoordelijk gehou word nie net vir besoedeling op per mijn persele nie maar buiten mijn persele wat onbewustelijk of bewustelijk gedoen wordt. Ik moet ook niet noemen dat die retrospectievelijke applicatie van die besoedelaar betaalsprincipe ook uitgevoerd kan worden, met andere woorden afgedwongen kan worden. Dus bijvoorbeeld in Aurora is een geval, ons weet hoe is die omgevingsverantwoordelijkheden in laatste uur gedra. Dat het begint bij Jane Gold, to Petman, to Harmony Gold, to Pemotsi Gold, to Aurora Mijn Groep. In other words, that whole reeks can be aansprakelijk gehouden word. Dit is onsmakelijk dat daar die kosten moet gedragen worden door die publiek, en dit is onetis en immoreel, en die wet is daarvoor voorziening gemaakt. There is a very important thing that's, that's happening here. The current AMD debate, as it's now being pitched, is about the nationalisation of liabilities. So it's about writing off that liability and allowing us to move forward, which may or may not be a good idea, but that's what it's about. So this is why we have a very, very good comparison between what is economically viable, ecologically viable and also socially viable. Johan, the TCTA is taking over the management of this problem on behalf of the, of the department, but we've seen from the conversation today that there's a lot more to this than just trying to, to pump water out of, out of old mines. Uh, at what point does your, does your scope end? Uh, Simon, this is so. As we look at our mandate, we have a very beperkt um, mandate on this stadium, and this is on basis the first phase Van, van die IMD project te voltooi. Ons gaan reële geld spandeer, so dit is nie erg sinvol om hierdie, uh, sê maar, uh, die korttermijn oplossing so te, te bou, laat dit nie inskakel by een langtermijn oplossing nie. So alhoewel ons nie op hierdie stadium die mandaat het om te kyk na die langtermijn oplossing nie, moet ons reeds ons beplanning so doen, laat wat ook al ons nou doen, wel gaan inskakel. Is that enough to get us out of the woods and into a situation where we've now turned this into a water opportunity? Or are, are, there, subs are there significant areas that need to be looked at again? What we have here is a slow onset disaster. Now, the problem with a slow onset disaster is at what point in time you say it's a disaster. It's a slow onset thing that's happening. Uh, I think what it's driving us to do ultimately is we are rethinking our national macroeconomic model. Business as usual is no longer an option. Simple, it's, you know, if we continue to do business as usual, we are going to crash and burn. We've reached the limit of, of, of where we can go at the macroeconomic level with doing what we do at the moment. In a way, it's kind of driven by crisis, but many of your technical solutions uh, 
are driven by crisis. And what I'm particularly comfortable about is the fact that there's now acknowledgement about it. Uh, we've now got serious players, TCTA, for example. These are serious players. They are now in the arena. Uh, if anyone can solve the problem from a project management perspective, these are the people that can do it. So I think in general, we can actually sleep well tonight. I think it's very important to say that the state has ingegrip last year. En ik denk die boodschap was baie duidelijk, is die staat wil beheer neem oor die sier mynwater situasie. En dit is hoekom ons, en ik ben dit is die vinnigste wat die staat, wat ek nog ministers bij elkaar gekry, of bij elkaar gesien het, is een kwestie van twee maanden, is alles gereel, die interministeriele komitee is gereel, daar is, daar is een verslag aan gevra en sovoort. So ek denk die staat het beheer daar begin uitoefen. En Johannes 100% recht, die langtermijn proces besef ons allemaal nou, kan niet te lang vat nie. In the short term, you know, the next next three to twelve months, what would you like to see happen, or what do you think people should be aware of, Maria? As public, we do some work with the oplossings. I will not work up record say that us is in the crisis situation, um that any proactive bestuurs plannen for years to be passed or afgedwongen is nie. Dit is jammer, dit is betreerenswaardig. Let the reaction eerst ontlok is to dit a reeds a crisis situation was. Wat ons nou moet kijken, ons het a Die kant in die westelijke kom, dit moet gestopt word en die water moet van een beter, het enige water wat uitkom, moet van een baie beter gehalte wees. En die centrale en die oostelijke kom, kyk ons na die stijgende watervlakke. Dit moet ook gestopt word voordat dit een, omgevings, een nieuwe omgevingsprobleem skep. So ons, ons bring basis een situasie wat buiten beheer was, bring ons het nou onder beheer. En ek denk dit is die onmiddellike toekomst, dit is wat ons in die onmiddellike toekomst moet doophou en ons, wat ons moet aanhoud doen. We are starting to see the emergence of a new uh, way of thinking. And I think the current thinking is that we have a problem caused by the mines, therefore the taxpayer must put money on the table to solve the mines problem. I don't think that's the correct way to go forward. I think there's a, a, a new business model would be, we have a problem, we have an alternative source of water, can we not take that water, mine the water for the minerals inside it, put the water back in the river in a reasonable quality, not sell it off for potable purposes? As soon as you, you're going to sell water for potable purposes, which has been driven by the business model at the moment uh, to, to cover the cost of remediation, as soon as you do that, that's when you start opening up the can of worms because I'd never forget, it's about hazardous waste that was toxic yesterday, but tomorrow is going to be drinking. Trust us, we can get it right for you, okay? <laughs> it's in that trust us process. You have to have credible people on the table that, 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 that sign that off. Yeah, um, Simon, I'm not happy from TCTA as a of that we are betrokken is. I think we can be a lot more and we will be a part of the solution. I think that if we look at TCTA's business model, as we this basis toepassen, what we have toepassen on van ons andere projecten, dan kan ons die die probleem omschakelen in een langtermijn oplossing. Maurice, in a, a recent Sunday Times article, we've seen the Western Utilities Corporation uh, highlighted as a, 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 a company that's going to provide a technical solution to the department uh, in sorting this problem out. Uh, there seems to be some concern around focusing fairly narrowly on only one one technology. Is is that a concern for the department? Dit was die probleem en dit is die rede hoekom die staat besef het dat ons eindelijk van voor, en nie van vooraf, maar jy moet in een proces begin waar daar een publieke deelname is en ook naar die verschillende technologieën te kyk. En dis hoekom die interministeriele commentarie baie duidelijk gesê het, ons dis goed dat mense inkom met, met idees, maar die staat moet controle vat daarvan. En dis wat nou gebeur. So wat die technologie aan betref, ons het niks in die technologie nie. In teendeel, ek dink dis een baie goeie technologie. Maar daar is soveel technologieën wereldwijd. Ek meen, die staat word gebombardeer, amper op een dagelijkse basis, met verschillende mensen, met verschillende technologieën. En ons moet naar alles kijken. Can, can, can I get on the record the fact that has a deal been done with Western Utilities or has a deal not been done with this? Uh, I think it would be a very useful thing to get on the record. Easy. There was no deal with the Western Utilities Corporation. It was at the time when we asked the mines to come up with a solution. The mines appointed the Western Utilities Corporation. So we never said, I mean, this is it and we're going to follow it strictly. We said, van die begin af, hier is een moeilijkheid, kom ons onderzoek dit. So, kortom net, nee, ons het dit nie aanvaard nie. Then I can place on the record my full support for that, because if there's a private deal like that, uh, it simply becomes an incestuous relationship. Final word from government, Morris. Ek dink dit is, dit is baie belangrijk dat ons van die staatse kant af nou vir allemaal kan wees dat ons het een proactieve model op die tafel. Jy weet, ek is self ook baie moeg om die hele tijd net te verdedig en te verdedig, om alle aanvallen die hele tijd net weer te staan. So dit is my baie lekker om nou te kan sê, daar is een plan op die tafel, die plan moet nog wel gefinaliseer word, maar dit is een proactieve benadering wat ons het. En ek dink dit is belangrijk dat mense moet besef, 
wat voorbij is, is voorbij. Ons kan nou niks daar doen. Je kan niet retrospectief naar mijnen toe gaan wat 50 jaar terug bestaan het nie. Ons moet nou kijken wat is op die tafel. En het zal voor mij ook lekker wees als ik bij die westelijke kom voorbij rij en daar loop geen water uit nie. This clearly is a huge problem, but there seem to be some, uh, some very, very fine minds working on it. And I'm sure with uh, people like Mariette watching them closely, hopefully we'll see some solutions start to come through. Thank you, Jen. Thank you.